Hello everyone, it's me ASMRF welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today I'll show you this type of creative logo with a circle and lines. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. Going to the file at first and taking new options. Taking an artboard 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel. P logo. And here RGB or CMYK if you want to go to the Printing or press purpose, you can take this one CMYK. Otherwise, in a wave, you can take the RGB. I'm taking the CMYK and hit the create button. We are getting the new artboard and new blank artboard actually. Go into the line segment tool, then and press the shift and hold it, drawing the line like that. And after that, press the alter option button. You can make copy by pressing and hold it. Okay. And now you can make uh, several copies like 20s or 13s or 18s. So I'll make 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, making them in a group and middle of the artboard. Select all the stubs, right press and transform. Rotate this one. Give you a 90 degree and see the preview and make it copy like that so you are getting like this after that going to the ellipse tool drawing the ellipse into middle of the artboard and ctrl c and ctrl f c for the copy and ctrl f for the forward paste and making several copies of these similar to this process okay like this that's good select all the stuffs and here shift him for the shape builder tools otherwise you can go to here shape builder tools and making it into black color and you can make the logo like that so here at first we'll make this okay we'll make the logo at first then we'll rotate and it will make us the logo which one we desired that's good and the big one you have to be careful the corners when you are making them into shape like this okay that's good that's fine give concentration when you are making them okay that's good and making it bigger and making another one which is really big when you're making this one be careful uh, we'll take this one this one the middle one will be left and this one will take for the roundness okay now just check and recheck which area we left which area we didn't select you have to and which area we got extra like that okay that's fine and go to the magic one tool select once you'll get the line at a time and after that select this and rotate this one and right press and transform and reflect from here make it the vertical reflection and hit okay so you're getting the logo like this this is really creative here is the p c and d and you can use the gradient so how to use that go to the artboard options and making the artboard copy select all the stuffs and going to the gradient options okay from the gradient tool pick the gradient like this and this or you can make the different gradient whichever or whatever you want and G for the gradient adjustment so one of I will rotate this one okay, like that or I'll select this and making them like that G from the keyboard
and I from the color picker and making the gradient like this that's fine or you can make the simplest gradient like uh, this okay turn off the stroke from here that's good and now we'll do mock-up uh, by the help of the photoshop so going to the photoshop and i downloaded a mock-up from freepeak.com i'll provide you that download link in my video description so check out my video description from here i downloaded already the mock-up this one the logo mock-up so after that we're getting this and PSD one open with the Photoshop. Okay. That's good. Here the sample text, I'll turn it off. And after turning it off, here is the logo or placeholder. Double click this one, you'll get another new window and we'll replace this logo from here. Before that, here is Control or Command R and area should be like this if you get the area properly you can get the logo properly so turning off this one and going to here taking this one ctrl c for the copy and going to the photoshop again ctrl v for the paste and here take the pixels and hit ok Press Ctrl or Command T and making it smaller according to the line. That's good. And hit the tick button. Ctrl or Command S. This one save in this the window. Okay, fine. If you want to make it more smaller, press Ctrl or Command T, making it more smaller. And you can make it into the middle of the artboard. So press Ctrl or Command S. And here you are getting the logo according to that mockup so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i may say i'm sending out stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers bye bye